Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing good. Right, today is the day that we're going to build up this absolute beauty. I've got a bunch of parts for it, I've been waiting for ages and finally everything has turned up. So, the plan today is to put it all together. Well, apart from one part that I can't do, I don't understand SRAM hydraulic disc brakes. They've got to be cut to size and I'm going to be honest, I've got no idea how to do it so I've invested the help of Dan. He's coming around later, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything on this bike and the only thing left will be the brake hoses need connecting. So no waffle in today's video, well probably a little bit of waffle, but we're just going to crack straight on and get this bike built up. So I'm pretty sure I do have all the parts for this bike. I mean this is like famous last words, I thought this last night then suddenly remembered that I don't actually have any bar tape. So then I had to rush to the shop this morning and get bar tape, but now I think we do have everything, everything that I need. So hopefully it's very straightforward and hassle free. Right, where's my fork? I've already lost my fork. I'm using Hyper SEs, looks so nice. And I have a Goodyear Eagle F1R. And that's a 34 mil tire, so the ideal winter tire. Honestly, I love how quick it is to set up center lock discs. Bish bash bosh, you're done. All the like six bolt nonsense that you get with the older ones, it just takes so much hassle. So there we go. So these are very, very, very road like. They're very road focused tire. Do you know not road focused? <laughs> this absolute monster of a cassette. It's gigantic. So this is an 11 up to a 50 tooth. Humongous. So it's a 12 speed, but it just slots onto an 11 speed cassette, which is really, really, really handy. So we are just gonna quickly line this all up. Oh no. Oh, it's one of those ones where you're meant to like be smart and do it in one go. But I didn't do that because I didn't notice. So now I have the very slow process of lining everything up. So 5,000 years later, I've managed to get this cassette on. What you can do is, it comes with like this little slotty thing, and what you can do is you can transfer it straight from that onto your hub. If you notice that it's on one of those, before you just pull it all apart, you know? So don't rush. So this is the most unroad like cassette. But this bike isn't a road bike, it's a, it's a growed bike. It's a gravel and a road bike. It's a bit of both. So for me, riding in the winter, like it's already grim enough riding outside, so not only do I have a very pretty bike that will keep me like in a good mood, I now have a ridiculously light gearing for the really steep climbs around there. There's a 40 tooth on the front, and then I have an 11 to a 50 on the rear. So I was talking to a company that made chain rings, they were meant to send me a 44 tooth chain ring, but by accident I got a 40 tooth, and it's also the wrong fitment, because they sent me someone else's chain ring instead of sending my chain ring. So for now, we're just gonna be rocking the 40 up the front. The wheels always make the build, right? I mean, this frame is beautiful, but a set of deep carbon rims, oh, and tan wall tires, and a mahoosive cassette, this bike's gonna look awesome. Right, let's get these on. so far I think it's looking awesome all right this is going to be the tricky one because I have to get it to come out this tiny little hole here Ooh, right wish me luck right so I've been busy I've got the gear cable through the front brake cable I still need to thread through the rear brake cable but I've run into a bit of a problem I don't have any bolts to hold on the front brake or the rear brake. So I'm gonna have to pop to the shop and try and find some. So that puts a bit of a delay on the build. <laughs> like, it's so frustrating. I just really wanted to get it all set up. Damn it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the shifters on so it looks like kind of a complete bike. And then hopefully I can find a bolt for my disc brakes. So apart from that, it's been pretty straightforward. Everything's gone on quite easily. I even got the cables threaded through like first time, which wasn't a nightmare. Um, yeah. Damn it. I suppose, you know, you can't win them all, can you? Right, let's carry on. I've got my bolts, so I can finally, finally, finally get these brakes attached. But, I now think I have everything that I need. 
apart from a couple of cable ties to attach things to the frame. But I'm pretty sure I can get everything sorted now. So, so I don't know how to set up the brakes. Dan's coming over to do that. So we're going to have a beer and then, and then set up some brakes. And maybe I'll learn. I should probably learn at some point how to do them. Right, I'm not saying that I know everything here, right? But Dan was like, you need brake fluid. I was like, I don't have any brake fluid. And Dan's like, yeah, I've got brake fluid. He was very adamant that I do have brake fluid. Do you, you know what I just found in the garage? Brake fluid. I so. know because he gave me some and I said, don't you need it? And he said, no, I've got loads. That's, that makes things grippy by cleaning all the fluids off them, all the uh, lubrication. I knew that. You want something with a bit of lube. I could just spit on it. That's what I normally do. <laughs> these, we're inserting these little, little dongly things. So we have brakes as well. So this is what's happened. In the time that I've like, stopped filming, we've had McDonald's, a beer, a coffee, and set up the brakes. See, you did see a bit of brakes setting up. Do you want to see a good thing about spray by paint? Headphone warning, by the way. Look, ready? It's well tough. Gears are all set up. I still need to put a little crimpy bit on the end here. So the last thing left to do is actually take the bars. And then we are done. So I'm gonna quickly take the bars. Oh, actually, saddle. I didn't notice. I don't actually have a saddle. It might be quite handy to have a saddle. So I'll put a saddle on, take the bars, and then we're actually done. It's been an epic mission today, I'm gonna be honest. It's actually, it's taken much, much, much longer than I thought it would, and I'm shattered. And I can't really be bothered to build bikes at the moment, but I can't just leave it half finished because I want to see the finished product, and you guys want to see the finished product. So let's just get these bars taped. Now the morning after, the bike is fully built. I could not be happier with how this thing turned out. Honestly, it is a work of art. Do you know what I think? Look at it, look at, look at it. So I feel I've genuinely created my dream winter bike. So this is a Gestalt frame by Marin. It's their aluminium frame. I got it in black. I've brightened it up massively with this awesome paint job. And I like fast bikes. I like zooming about. These Hyper SEs are the perfect thing for that. I've got some Goodyear tires on there. I'm not rocking a 28 mil, I'm not rocking a 30 mil, I'm rocking a 34 mil tire. So that's awesome for winter, especially on the steep climbs. It'll ensure I get lots of grip. The gearing is super light. I have a 40 up the front and then I have an 11 to a 50 tooth on the rear. So I should be able to tackle any hill. Yeah, honestly, I'm so stoked with how this build turned out. Massive thanks to Dan for coming over and helping me get my brakes sorted so now I can actually stop. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, I am. I'm Proper loving this build. Quick thanks to everybody that helped out with this build. Spray Bike for the paint, Marin for the frame, Hyper for the wheels, Goodyear for the tires, and Tram for sending over the Apex group set. And thank you to you guys, as always, for watching and enjoying the content, commenting, all that stuff. I can't wait to ride it. So stay tuned where I either take this colorful bike out or the other one in a video coming soon. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.